guys, welcome back to another video. So yes, I am finally back after like a long break because of school and finals and stuff. But I am back and now we are here in Forecraft Season 3. And I know I said I was going to go back to the solo Let's Play world thing, but right as I did it, we decided to make a new world. And yes, there will be a finale episode thing for for the forecast season two i just we're just tidying up the last thing getting world download and stuff but that will be coming soon and so if you're not aware in this series uh, every week ish i show the progress of the world i have no clue how long this this server is gonna last but hopefully as long as the last one did um so we're starting here in my base where I got a very ugly hut <laughs> um, I just built the most makeshift like hut because I don't really want to spend too much time on this starter area but uh, it yeah it looks ugly it's just like the most basic hut I could probably ever build and my chests are a mess and yeah I do have ender chest We've been, I'm um, not everyone is as stacked as me, so, yeah, I probably like the richest right now, just because of this one thing, so if we head down here, uh, I found this, if we head down here, this is the only reason I could have all of this, I found, a uh, a double spawner. Uh, so it's a zombie and skeleton spawner, and then I made to a farm to just funnel down here, fall into here, then get pushed around all the way to here, get lifted up, and then go go down here, and then fall down this hole where I can go. So then, thanks to this, I was able to get levels, and I just got a shirking farm and a cow farm to get enchantment table and then thanks to this that gives me bones I was able to make one of those quick carrot farms it works pretty well I got like as you can see I have 46 levels and I was able to enchant most of this and then we head up here yeah, and my tools are also pretty well I think I'm the only one who has almost in, mostly enchanted uh, armor here's the little cow farm I have a little plantation farm, but I don't really use it anymore because I have the bone meal farm thing down there. But then over here, this is the second reason I was able to progress so much. I got armor guy, uh, mending, efficiency, feather falling, unbreaking, fortune, and then over here, it was supposed to be like a villager breeder thing, but then these guys would breed and then the guy would just get stuck here and then grow so they all be i just turned them on to farmers now since i don't really need more villagers and if i do i can just do it manually uh and then here i would trade uh the carrots to get the emeralds and now i just use this for food and not all of them are maxed but i think three of them are oh no this one's two of them are and then one is like journeyman and one is an expert and then also another wart over here yeah another portal over there but if we and then there's the shirt implantation thing i had we head over here and grab my horse apparently no one's on because it's like very early in the morning but uh there is a few people on the server we're hoping to get more people on but it's only been like four days i think since the server started so if we had this way, this is where the main village area is, where the other people live. So, first up, I think that's Mad Dog's base, who is on the server again, from the uh, returning from season two. Uh, he has like a starter base here. He, I'm pretty sure he has full diamond by now, which is the other only other person to have it. Yeah, and he has ten diamonds. Uh, 
obviously he has his armor on him, so I can't show you, but he's pretty rich. Probably one of the rich, second richest. And then we can jump. There we go. We head this way. We have the poorest on the server. <laughs> Uh, active Drake um, and he's building I have no clue what it's like if you ever heard the game rust it's like a rust base because he really likes that game and it's supposed to be like I don't know I don't really play much but there's supposed to be like airlocks and stuff and this like TC or something and like chest and it's a mess yeah i don't know, have no clue what he's doing but uh i'll let him be um i never know how to get out of this there it is so yeah um that's act drake um moving on uh so oh yeah i think the um Forgot to say, I think that up there above Mad Dog's base is Puffy, but I'm not sure. So over here is uh, Pat Massa and Emmy's or Emma's base. Uh, they are working together this season and making their own base together. Uh, they have this plantation thing. I think these are villagers. Or they had villagers here. I think they moved them down. And then they have crops and stuff. And then they found the uh, jungle. So they got bamboo. But their base looks probably the coolest out of everyone. Because they actually spent time on their starter base. I have no clue what that is. And then I know Mad Dog spent time. Which is, this is pretty cool. But this is cooler. Uh, I, did, I spent like 5 seconds on mine. And built like the ugliest hut ever. But... Uh, cause I'm, I'm probably moving out of there, like, as soon as I get, like, an elytra. Which we're planning on beating the Ender Dragon soon. Uh, but, here's the base from the outside, and if you come inside, there's, uh, what's it called? Uh, Nether Wart, yeah, right there. That's, they got the luckiest s Nether spawn I have ever seen. Look at this. Yo in their portal. They're instantly in another fortress. Like like sometimes you have to look for ages to get it and they just spawn in one. So yeah, um there's their chest monster stuff. They're pretty rich as they have Time pickaxes. I have no clue how many diamonds they have, but uh, they got horses there and then cows, and then down here at just level one enchantment table with no books yet. And then here they just have villagers and more netherware, I guess. This looks pretty cool. I never thought of that. Okay, so we go in here, they have thorns, silk touch, and I'm guessing they're getting other villagers. What's this? What are you? Mending. Oh, they have a better deal than me for mending. Okay, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. We just started, so there's not much progress. But last time, I decided to wait a little bit more than a week to show the progress, and we already had a light trend full netherite on episode one, which felt kind of weird. So this time, I decided to do it like four-ish days after. So there's some progress. I could, I want to show like the beginnings. So with all that said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and see y'all on the next one. Bye.